All right, hey monsters, it is time for your uh, College Friday, Funky Friday um, life skill. Um, and this week I checked my cousin, uh, the retired fire chief's list, and it said that I should uh, clean the bathroom. That this is something that people don't know how to do. A lot of you have actually asked for cleaning tips anyhow. So I'm gonna um, not film like every single step of me cleaning the bathroom. I'm just gonna kind of touch on specific skills where you might use those things, the tools that you might use, and then just a couple of safety um, precautions to keep in mind, especially at this time when um, some reports are saying, oh yeah, drink household chemicals and you'll be safe. Do not drink any of the chemicals that you're gonna see in this video. Um, definitely not a safe thing. Do not do that. It absolutely will make you sick. Um, so don't do that. Um, so let's take a look at what we have as possible options. All right, so first off, we've got the tools, a um, couple of tools to be familiar with. First one is going to be uh, one of these. This is known as a toilet brush. Um, you may or may not have one of these. A lot of households do. It's usually behind the toilet, sometimes in the cleaning closet. This is good for both cleaning the toilet and as long as you don't go directly from the toilet to the bathtub, it's good for cleaning the bathtub. It gets the grime out. Um, it's a trick that Mrs. Neewame Sr. taught me is to go ahead and use the toilet brush to clean the bathtub. Um, so I go ahead and uh, clean it up before I go to the bathtub. But then, yeah, I use this for both the toilet and the tub. We'll take a look at how to use that in a minute. And then the other thing is going to be either some paper towels or I usually just use uh, rags. Rags could be uh, bought um, yeah, online or at the dollar store or whatever. They could be old t-shirts, old bandanas. Um, all sorts of things can be rags. And so then old towels, rags are going to be um, what you use to do the wipe down cleaning. Uh, and then the actual chemicals, I have an excess of stuff. I do not use all of this every single time, but I want to kind of touch on different things. First thing is going to be the blue stuff. Um, so this is a glass cleaner. You're going to use this to clean the mirror um, or any other glass you might have in the bathroom. Usually it's just going to be the mirror. One thing I want to point out, this stuff's pretty safe. But definitely after I do this, I switch to a different rag. So I use one rag for the glass cleaner and one rag for whatever else I do. Uh, and then don't make, make sure not to mix any of these chemicals. You can have bad results if you do that. Uh, for cleaning the bathroom, I don't always have Scrubbing Bubbles brand, but I just use usually a bathroom cleaner like this. Um, and so this is also in a spray bottle. You can see on the top of spray bottles, it's tough to see. It does say on and off. That top thing actually twists. Sometimes it has a picture of different spray patterns, like it might have a spray like this and a spray that's more direct like this. Uh, and so you can choose that based on which spray is gonna work best for you. Uh, other options, you got, uh, of course, your spick and span every day, it kills bacteria, so that's a good thing for cleaning up anything. Um, just your household bleach, you could mix this, um, like one of these little caps, little cap full into like a whole bucket of water. Do not mix anything else into there. Definitely bleach is something you don't wanna mix with anything else. And on a related note, uh, Comet has bleach mixed into it, or uh, is made with bleach, so you definitely want to make sure you don't mix Comet with anything. This is a powder. Um, you just kind of sprinkle it down and then wipe it down with a wet rag, and that'll help you clean up uh, tough stains. As it says right here on the bottle, deodorizes and cleans quick uh, tough stains. So that's what you're going to do for that. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the process. All right, so a lot of us have some stuff on our counter. Uh, we have a Bob Lee bobblehead because he's a plumber. Uh, so that's funny. Uh, came from the Kenosha Kingfish game. And then, of course, some hand soap. We're going to go ahead and get that stuff out of the way. We'll just set it on the floor. Okay. And then for the mirror, we'll take the blue stuff. And then just kind of a few spritzes like that. And then just wipe it down with the rag. Nice and smooth. Back and forth usually works better than circles. Maybe going up and down. These are usually streak-free with the blue stuff. You just make sure you get it all dry. Okay, so that cleans your mirror. And then for the counter, we're gonna do a similar thing, but not with the blue stuff. So we're gonna take that rag, keep it with the blue stuff. Okay, grab a new rag. Make it obvious it's new, we'll get a yellow rag. And then same thing with the scrubbing bubbles, just kinda spritz all over. And we'll wipe that down. All right, for the toilet, we got our trusty toilet brush, of course. For the outside surfaces, including down on the bottom, that kind of thing, it's going to be the same as we did for the vanity, spritz and wipe down. 
for the inside, some people actually use a bowl cleaner. I use the same cleaner. Get the spritz. And then we're gonna take this toilet brush and you gotta get underneath the rim, around, all these areas like that. Down in there. You wanna make sure you're getting any, any stains, any residue, anything that might be in there down clean. Uh, and then whatever cleaning you actually leave in there, you can go ahead and just flush. And that's how you do the toilet. All right, last thing, obviously, you got all your dirty rags now. If you used paper towels, uh, just throw them in the garbage. But with rags, those are reusable, so you want to check whatever your place is that you put them, whether you got a bucket or you toss them right in the washing machine. Maybe you got one of those uh, big slop sinks in your house. I'll go ahead and put them there. Like my aunt cleans houses, so she keeps a bucket and does all of her rags at once. Um, for me, um, it's real easy when I'm here in the half bathroom because I'm across from the laundry machine, the washing machine. I just chuck my rags right into the washing machine. Um, so that's how you do that. Your parents uh, will hopefully be impressed if you go ahead and help it out. Uh, reminder again, do not drink the chemicals, do not mix the chemicals. Both of those are bad. Um, of course, this video is quicker than it actually took me to, to clean the bathroom. I paused and finished some of the things, but it is still not a chore that takes long. Um, so definitely help out. I didn't mop the floor today, but that is also a good thing you can do. You want to go ahead and sweep and then mop um, your floor to make sure that's nice and clean as well. Uh, and so for that, you'd have to pull up a rug if you have a rug. And then, um, you know, you'd let it dry after you mop it. Um, so that is how, how you do that. Um, best of luck. Happy Friday. Uh, take care of yourself and each other. Stay safe. Wash your hands from my house to yours. We love you. I will see you guys digitally next week. Enjoy the holiday weekend.